Hey everyone, it's the end of 2018 and I want to share my thoughts with you on an issue I've been talking about for over a year. In fact, at the end of 2017, I was part of a panel discussion about this proposed new Canadian law that I'm going to discuss and I was honored to sit next to criminal lawyer and legal expert Joseph Newberger. That law, C-51, an act to amend the Criminal Code of Canada, has now been passed and as Joseph says in an article for Advocate Daily, there needs to be activism and there needs to be discourse about this because it affects the integrity of the trial process. This is a serious blow to fairness. The article is titled, Fight Against Bill C-51, Just Beginning. And Joseph Newberger vows to fight the new law all the way to the Supreme Court if necessary. And this is why I admire Joseph Newberger. If you need a great criminal lawyer in the Toronto area who has integrity, skill, and a passion for justice, well, Joe's your guy. I'll link to his website and that article below. One of the problems we face with these new regulations that will force an accused in Canada to pay for extra hearings and disclose their evidence in advance of a criminal trial is getting people to care enough to do something about it. I run a nonprofit helping people falsely accused of sex crimes so I know how often it happens, and nobody ever thinks it's going to happen to them. But the accused in such charges now have to prove their own innocence. Police are now laying charges based on improving statistics and being told not to ask too many questions when they interview complainants. Prosecutors and judges are being re-educated with junk science to obtain more convictions, and unconstitutional laws will take years to overturn. As I wrote in an article for the Post Millennial that was just published yesterday, for Christmas this year, the Canadian government decided that the New Year's resolution to deal with the complex problem of sexual assault is to undermine the rights of the accused in order to obtain more convictions. Evidence of innocence is being treated by the Canadian government as an unacceptable ambush tactic. Now, for those who don't know, I've started writing regularly for the Post Millennial, so you can follow my work there in between my videos especially given how easy it is nowadays to have whole accounts deleted overnight, it's yet another place that you can find me in case I disappear. I'll be writing more on the subject of this new law, and like Joseph Newberger, I will not sit by silently while innocent men get convicted. This law, to me, indicates that the government is unwilling to stand up to vigilantes, and instead would rather foist their problems onto the male population. The problem that they don't want to deal with is how to uphold your right to a fair trial when activists are demanding more convictions. So go read my article in the Post Millennial and go read Joseph Newberger at the links below. And be assured, we will not go gentle into that good night.